Hey y'all, welcome back to Cards TV. Today I've got another fun fold card for you for the countdown to Christmas. It's a pop out card and it's so much fun and so quick and easy. And I'm going to have the measurements for it below this video on my blog as well as here on YouTube. The first thing we're going to need is a piece of cardstock and this is eight and a half by five and a half and we're going to score it at two inches three and one eighth and that's the little mark right after the three then we're going to do five and three eighths and that is the one two right here the third mark after the five and our last score mark is at six and a half and we're going to be doing Mountain Valley Folds with all these score lines. I want to go over them again because this cardstock's kind of heavy. Okay. Now we want to do this first one is going to be a valley. I always have to stop and think. Is it a mountain or a valley? The next is a mountain. And then we're going to flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. This will be a valley. You can see how thick this cardstock is. And our last one is a mountain. And here is our pop-out card. Now this is going to lay flat to go in your envelope, but when you take it out or the recipient takes it out, it stands up nicely, just like that, for display. This is a quick one, and it's lots of fun. So, to go on here, I've got some red mats. And then I've got striped. And I've got pattern. Now for these two side pieces, these red mats are one and seven eighths by five and three eighths. And then on top of that, we're going to put our striped mat, which is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And we'll get these adhered down to these side panels. Just like that. On both sides. Now, if you want to cut a little panel to go in here, you certainly can, but it's not really going to be seen. So, that will save you a little bit of time if you don't want to do that. Same measurements for this piece. For the center piece, our red mat is 2 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 and this cute pattern paper that's got Santa, December 25th, candy cane, stocking, just lots of fun Christmas words in green, red, and gray. This uh, pattern mat is two inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to grab my glue and get all this adhered to the front of my card. Here's my card base all ready. Now, I forgot to tell you, these papers came from this Doodlebug Designs paper pad called North Pole. I've been shopping my stash this Christmas because I did not want to buy any more Christmas supplies. I have so much already. So I decided to use this paper pad and I found a cute little set of stamps that I had gotten in one of those card magazines that you find at Joann's and different places that come from the UK and they'll put a free gift inside. And I got this three or four years ago inside of one of those magazines. And it's got these adorable little gnomes on here and lots of Christmas sayings. So I decided to use one of them. So I went ahead and did a mat to put my little gnome on. And this mat was cut at three and a quarter inches. This came from the Elegant Edges cartridge on page 51. I cut this oblong out of white at three and a quarter, and I came down here 
and cut the red shadow also at three and a quarter. And you can see I've already stamped from our gnome to yours up in the corner because I am going to put a little gnome on here and I'm going to show him to you. Now, if you don't have a stamp set with a gnome or you want to use a Cricut cartridge, there is an adorable little gnome in the freshly picked cartridge and he's on page 37 right here. I also did one of those and here he is. Now I cut him and all the pieces, his clothes and everything, his little hat, I cut him out at two and a half inches and I think he is really really cute. Now you can also cut him out with your Cricut Explorer if you want to do that, here's another one I did as a print and cut. And I did this in the Explorer. And I cut him at 1.56 wide by 2.60 high. You can see there's a little bit of difference. I didn't quite get him the same when I pieced him together. But it's pretty close. So I was trying to decide which gnome I wanted to use. Because they're both cute on here. I'll show you. Here's this cute little guy from our gnome to yours and here's the cricket gnome. And they're both really really cute. But I think I'm going to go with the stamped version today. And I've got him on some foam tape. So I'm going to get all this adhered together and get this on the front. And I think that's going to be really really cute. He's going to hang off just a little bit on one side because I'm going to put some little sparkly dots down here too. So I'll go ahead and get this adhered. Then we'll come back and I'll show you the other side. Here's my finished card and I think it turned out really cute. But I'm going to show you. It would be just as cute with this little freshly picked gnome on here. Either way, you can't go wrong when you're using a gnome, right guys? <laughs> They're super cute. Okay, on the front we've got from our gnome to yours. Then we flip it over on the back and open it out. And I stamped with love at Christmas. And that also came from that cute little stamp set. And I stamped it on there before I put my panels on so I could open it out all the way. And you can see how nicely that stands up for display. Now I want to tell you real quick how I colored that little guy. I used my Spectrum Nor Tri-Blend Markers. And for his shoes, I used the Earth Brown Blend. For his little gnome hat, I used the Dark Red Blend. And for his little nose right there. I used the Fair Skin Blend. I love my Spectrum Nor Tri Blend Markers. They are great for coloring because you got your light, your medium, and your dark all there together. Thank you all so much for coming by today. I hope you've enjoyed making this little gnome card with me. I think he is super cute and I can't wait to make some more and get them out in the mail for Christmas. I love you all. God bless you all, and I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.